Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Tales of Asperia. So, um, we're right here where we left off, as usual, and, um, Flynn over here, I think, needs a little bit of help, a little backup. Appears he was sabotaged, perhaps. <clears throat> he was supposed to be delivering a letter, apparently the letter had stuff in it that was bad, he got taken in, and we need to go check out and see how he's doing. Down here in the jail. Hello, Flynn. Yuri. I thought I was being quiet, but I guess you heard me. So, you've come to have a laugh at me in this sorry state? Yeah, I wanted to see what kind of expression being locked up put on your face. It doesn't hurt to be forced to view things from behind bars every now and then. What the hell you think you were doing, coming here with a letter like that? That was the Red Eyes doing. They attacked after you left. You don't screw up like that. Was it one of your people? Even if it was, the responsibility is mine. I see. If the Red Eyes are involved, then Rago's gotta be behind it all. But how do you know? At the harbor, we saw Rago giving orders to one of their assassins. I hadn't heard about that. Do you know what they're trying to do? Most likely, they want to force a clash between the guilds and the knights. That'd be... bad. <laughs> you think another one of those false letters went to the knights? That'd be... bad. <laughs> yes, to put them in a fighting mood. If you know that much, then get out there and get the real letters back. I was wondering how long it'd take you to get rid of that damn lock. <laughs> You've got to stay here. What? And be your scapegoat? You're just itching to get rid of me, aren't you? Yuri, if I don't make it back, you'll have to die in my place. Yeah. BFFs right there. BFFs. <laughs> Taking your friend's place in a jail cell? You lost your mind, son. This coming from an old man who gets rid of his own guards on purpose. Hmm. I had a special favor to ask that rookie knight. You mean Flynn? The rats that plan these sort of stunts usually like to enjoy their handiwork from somewhere nearby. If you knew the letter was fake, why'd you fire everyone up like that? If I didn't make a good show of things, whoever's behind all this wouldn't bother to come watch. Besides, we've got a lot of hotheads around here who'd never let me hear the end of it if I didn't raise hell. So that's where it stands. Of course, if our friend the Knight doesn't show up again, your life is mine. I know. Tell me one thing, though. What made you want to start a guild in the first place? I realized I couldn't protect the things that were important to me playing by the Empire's rules. There have to be some things that were easier to protect when you're on the other side, though. Even in the lower quarter where I'm from, we still had the barrier to protect us. Sure. But were you happy with just putting up with all the things you didn't like? Well, I... So if the rules the Empire sets don't suit you, you got two choices. You can do like your friend is, and put everything you've got to change in the system. Or, you could turn your back on the Empire and live by the rules you set for yourself. Sounds like Yuri right there. That's pretty clear cut. Yep. Yeah, I think you're gonna have to take responsibility for letting my prisoner go. You want me to do something besides rotting in this cell? The sap who's been putting together this little show has gotta be somewhere in this city. Oh, I've been planning on asking your armor-wearing friend to hunt him down for me, but... So what? You want me to find them? Your job is to pay this debt back to me. How you go about it is up to you. That young lady you brought with you is running all over the place helping with the injured folks. You're not the type to be the only one sitting around twiddling its thumbs, right? Estelle. Huh. That sounds like her. Yep. Running around and healing. I think we can open it now? Can we? Yes, okay. Excellent. Freedom! And we have to go find, I think, there was a person we needed to find and do something to? I don't really know much about it. 
Um, <clears throat> I don't quite remember this part. I guess we'll just walk around and look till we find somebody. Maybe we can go talk to our fellow party members. Maybe they know something about it. Oh, no. Cutscene time. Out of the way. The dawn is passing through. <clears throat> is he really planning on going to war just to lure those rats out of hiding? We'll teach those Imperial people to look down on us. Oh, Yuri. Have you finished healing the injured yet? How did you know that? The Don told me. This is from him. His way of saying thanks. But Yuri, things have gotten really bad. Yeah, I noticed. No, that's not what I mean. What else? I saw them. You saw... Who? The bloodlines. Barbos wasn't with them, but... Rita and Repeat are shadowing them right now. Just what the Dawn wanted. Let's catch up with Rita. Yeah. Reunite with Estelle and Carol. Okay, so... What Dawn and Flynn are thinking. Where were you talking with the Dawn, Yuri? You were gone for a long time. We had a nice little chat through some thick iron bars. Yuri, did you get Flynn out of prison by trading places with him? No, it's nothing like that. Flynn would have been released even if I hadn't gotten involved. What do you mean? The Don planned all along to capture Flynn and use him to find out who's behind this whole mess. So both the Don and Flynn know that there's someone else manipulating things? Yeah. Why do I keep letting myself get caught up in this stuff? Now That's the a good Don question. Now the making me do his dirty work. What a pain. It's because he's too nice. Okay. Hello. In here? Yes. Let's go inside to the clearly unmarked building. Hopefully it's not a trap. We won't get beat up. Reunite with Rita and repeat. So, oh. Barbos, what is the meaning of this? I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. The tower and the Blasty, of course. I have yet to receive any reports about them. Why should I have to report to you about something like that? What? Building that lousy tower fortress of yours without speaking a word of it to your own employer? You even went so far as to use Leviathan's Claw for help. I'm not your lapdog, Rico. I just gathered the cores together like you requested. It's thanks to my efforts that you were able to make that weather controlling blast you. And just what made you think it was okay to carry off the extra cores? Our mutual non-interference with the condition of our agreement, was it not? What? And did I ever interfere with what you were doing? Barbos, how dare you! You will leave now, Magistrate. Remember this, Barbos. Black-hearted filth like you always get what they deserve in the end. Well, look who's talking. Everyone here is black-hearted filth. You're one to talk or go. <laughs> yep. You guys. It's the World Series of Villains and you had to take the best seat in the house? What fool would dare to heckle my exquisite performance? I like Yuri's jokes sometimes, they're funny. Oh ho, if it isn't the little runs I met on the ship. You're the one who's been causing all the recent chaos. And what of it? You fools will never manage to capture me. Oh yeah? What's your reasoning there? A villain is someone who never considers losing a possibility. That's why he thinks the way he does. <clears throat> if so, then that makes you quite the villain, Yuri. Yep. I'm nefarious. <laughs> You've got a big mouth, brat. Oh yeah. Let's go beat up some people. You would dare to oppose me? I thought I told you before that the next time you wouldn't get off so easy. All the better for us to tear things up. Take them down. What? What are we looking at? Ha <laughs> ha, the fools have started to march. Now that meddlesome Dawn and the Knights will destroy each other. He did this to destroy the Union and to eliminate the Dawn. If the Knights are destroyed, then who will protect the Empire? Rigo, why would you... Oh! Of course he's going to weaken the Imperial Knights so that the Council can step in and control the Empire. Oh my. The Knights and the Union going down together. It's just as Flynn said. Hmm. 
So what... What if you know now? No matter what you do, you won't be able to stop the battle. Hmm, we'll see. And your existence comes to an end here. What are you looking at? Rolling hills? Darn, he's too late. Oh. Let's Flynn try and tell everyone to stop fighting, I guess. Flynn! Stop, all of you. Sheathe their blades. Sheathe them. On my magic horse ride thing. I am Flynn Skyfo of the Imperial Knights. I've come bearing a letter from Master Yoder. The letter you received from the Empire was false. It was a work of a rebel. Draw back your armies at once. I thought you weren't coming back. And leave Yuri behind to take the fall from me? I wouldn't dream of it. Rego, you fool! You didn't keep up your end of the bargain! Don't hurt me! <laughs> Don't hurt me! Damn! Yuri! They're aiming at Flynn! <laughs> that was pretty easy. Good job, Carol. Nice shot, Carol! You brats think you can stop me? Get out of here! Head for the exit! That was fun. Yuri, no! It's too dangerous! It should take time for the air to recharge. I'll try and stop it before then. Now! You're too late! No! It charged up too quickly! It's the Dragon Freak! So you're back for more, Dragon Freak? Yep, Dragon Freak. Rita, knock it off. Our enemy's over there. My enemy is this Dragon Freak. Leave it alone for now. Dragon Freak. Hm. I'm gonna make you wish you hadn't done that. Behold, I am what? evil. He can fly? I can fly and I am evil. You're going to wish you hadn't done that, because I'm evil. Da 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 da. Oh! Get back here, you freak! Think I'm just gonna let you get away? If you're going after him, let me come with you. We're a little short on wings around here. Are you crazy? This jerk's our enemy! No matter what happens, I've gotta catch that guy. Come on! Yay, the Dragon Freak let me hop on. Thanks. Wait, what about us? This guy's overloaded enough as it is. But what should we... You guys hold down the fort here. What? Stay out of trouble. Damn it, Yuri! And let Flynn know I'm stepping out for a while. <laughs> Yay! Oh, this is one of my favorite scenes. It looks so pretty. These are uh, CGI or whatever scenes. Yeah, we broke it. If you remember earlier that big swirling tower of clouds that I showed you, that's what this is. The Tower of Gears. Gas Forest. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. So that cyclone was his doing. Here comes trouble. You, and make it you double. The blast, yeah. Hey, are you okay? Bastards. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, that was incredibly easy. Let's You're cut them next, all. Punk. Come on, we're just getting started. <laughs> My men won't have any trouble taking care of a brat like you. You sure about that? Because I just took down three of them in one shot. Now rip him to pieces! I mean, okay. Wait, you guys' names are Bandito! Bandito! Hello, Banditos. The only trouble I'll have fighting you guys is your sheer numbers. You're not terribly difficult. Like that, do you see that? That's where it starts getting a little unfair. Okay, let's get someone a little closer. There we go. We can start taking down them. It shouldn't be so quite hard. Oh crap, I'm about to die. But they're not even hard, it's just that there's so many of them. They don't do that much damage, it's like 30 or 18, about 40 damage. I'm gonna suck up all my lemon gels doing this. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Come here. Come here. Just, just stop poking me, you tiny little stupid sword. And they keep doing that back off thing too. <laughs> That's a little annoying. I think I can get the rest of them. There we go. Was close. It was a bit close. Hey, I learned something. Oh, we learned some of our skills we've been working on. Is that all you got? Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you your place. <laughs> That's a handy sword you've got. Think you lost because of this sword, huh? Like it's like a weird chainsaw sword, but not quite a chainsaw because it's kind of like a bike gear. I don't know. What do you think? Like he's gonna slice at you and get your fingers caught in the gear so it hurts yeah. a lot. Talk it up while you've got the chance. We've got a nice painful death all set up for you. And what I gave up? That's not like Yuri. Now shut up for a while. What's the deal? Please, I've got to get out of here. It's always something with you, isn't it, old man? It's not polite to point sharp objects at your elders. Hey! <gasps> a face! There's actually a face under the mask. Could you believe it? That's enough. Damn it. Your armor wasn't very strong. It broke in one shot. A woman? And she's Christian? Oh my gosh, it's a girl! Are you alright? <laughs> Sorry. She's Hale and she has pointy ears. Or in this game, they're called Christians. Well, after all... You did help Baul back there. Baul? Yes, my friend. Oh, you mean that monster? So apparently the flying dragon's name is Baul. So tell me, what are you going around destroying Blastia for? <sighs> Not a big deal if you don't feel like talking about it. 
I'm afraid it's not as impressive as you might think. I'm destroying them because I want to. You're right. I'm not all that impressed. So that's why you mashed up Barbos's Blastia, too. Yes, but I didn't finish the job. And can you just let this one go? There wouldn't be any fun in destroying something like that. Huh. I have a feeling if you just kicked both doors open really fast, you could knock out both of the guards standing in front of it. Or at least knock them down and then hey, kick them somewhere. Hey, why don't we work together a little longer? Hmm. It's true, I wasn't able to finish off the Blastia on the roof. Okay, then. So what do we do? Hmm, there is one way I was thinking we could get out of here. Well, if you think it might work, what's the harm in trying it out? I always say, those who can, should. Okay, just go along with me on this. I'll just follow your lead. <laughs> Don't worry. It's a little nerve-wracking working with a pretty lady, though. Ah! He likes the ladies. Enough to punch him, anyway. Oh, that is it! Ah! Stage fighting! That's some loud punching, though. Pipe down! I said that's enough. I've had it up to here with you. Somebody get me away from this psycho. <laughs> so I'm fight, have to fight, teach you fight, lesson, fight, huh? fight. That's what all little people on the side look like. Freedom. You're free. Thanks for your help. I think I still owe you one more. Huh? Guess I, uh, overdid it back there. There. That makes us even. I'm Yuri. Yuri Lowell. Judith. Judith? Uh, Judy's easier to say. Fine by me. All right. On to the next objective. Next? Well, we could check out the Blasty on the roof. All we have to do is go up. Won't your friends be waiting for you? I don't mind taking care of the Blastia first. Up we go, then. And how exactly do we go up? This is heavy. Yeah, just go wander off. Reminds me of a certain princess. Cough, cough, Estelle, cough, cough. A princess? Never mind. There's gotta be a way up around here somewhere. Let's see what we can find. Judith joined the party. Alright, oh, Judith's armor. Hey, why were you wearing that stuffy looking suit of armor? Oh, you didn't like it? It's pretty sturdy and protects my body quite nicely. See? Look at this beautiful skin, free of bruises and blemishes. Oh, Very nice. I'm actually worried where my eyes might wander. <laughs> you don't look all that worried to me. I've just got a good poker face. So you're okay? You don't mind leaving your armor behind? It's sturdy, but it's heavy. Walking around with that on tires me out. Hey, no complaints here. I prefer eye candy to scary armor any day. Of course you do, Yuri. Of course you do. Okay, anyway, I think there's a save point, yep. Oh, look, there's guards. Hello, guards. Guards knocked out. He won't wake up anytime soon. Okay, anyway, I need to save here and, uh, let's see, where was my last save? It's 9.25, yeah, right here. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, this is where we're going to leave off for today. And next time, we will explore this tower a bit more and, um, see what secrets there are. Um, I think at the moment, yeah, it won't even let me go to my menu because I don't have any items because they stole them all. Um, anyway, thank you for watching and um, I guess I'll see you all next time. Bye.